Well, welcome back to probably the most inactive vlog on YouTube. It's been many, many months since the, uh, the first video I put out in the snowy mountains. Um, I think I just didn't really understand how much effort and time was required making these, so kudos to the uh, guys and girls that put out a video every week, because I just don't think I can do that. It's definitely not the best sales pitch for getting anyone to subscribe to my channel, but I guess if you like the content and you're willing to wait a little bit longer to see more videos, feel free to do so. But anyway, I've got a few days off work and I figured I'd come down to probably my absolute favourite river uh, in the Blue Mountains. I've just got a lot of good memories down here. I caught my first trout ever down here. So the plan is going to be come down for three days, but I guess we'll wait and see how the, the fishing and the weather goes and we might have to change the plans, but that's what I'm aiming for anyway. The river is actually probably in the best condition that I've ever seen it, and that's due to uh, the fires a couple of years back and then consecutive years of floods. So, yeah, the whole system is just kind of completely rejuvenated. Every um, bend looks like it's going to hold fish. The gravel's really clean. The water's uh, really good condition. So, yeah, there's going to be I think there's going to be a lot of resident fish down there, like smaller fish. But what I'm hoping for is the odd larger rainbow trout, which tends to be in this river uh, at this time of year. Uh, even if they're not, it's gonna be a good trip. Uh, it's just a nice spot to camp down by the river uh, and just yeah, a beautiful area to spend a couple of days in. This is a really steep walk and it takes a lot of effort to set up the tripod walk past it, go back, pick it up again. And I'm pretty lazy, so I'm gonna do a little less talking now, head down there, um, and through the power of editing, we'll be on the river. So we'll see you there. All right. Less time this afternoon than I thought to fish, but I'll get the campsite all set up and ready to go. This is one of my favorite campsites because you've got a nice big fire pit, logs already set up. Someone's even left a saw there, so I could, should be easily be able to get some firewood for a nice fire tonight. Yeah, I'll do that and then um, we'll rig up and see how much fishing we can do this afternoon. Definitely normally get away with a uh, three weight down on this river most of the time, but as I said, there's the chance there's some bigger rainbows that are gonna be getting about. So I could only bring one rod, so I bought a five weight and I'm probably gonna be fishing pretty deep because there is a lot of water going through here, a lot of fast water. Uh, so I'm probably gonna be using a couple of nymphs, some split shot where necessary. Um, yeah, hopefully we can um, find some of those nicer fish. All right, let's do this. I've got probably two hours of sunlight left and then I've got to head back, so let's see if we can get something. All right, first cast. It's a nice run, but I don't have any split shot on yet. Just gonna see how it goes without it. Might need to add it. Just don't know if it's gonna get deep enough, fast enough. Oh, there you go. First cast got a fish. Only a small one.
think we're probably going to get a stack of fish this size. It's a nice fish for here, but uh, we're looking for the bigger ones. Same size as before, I think. Actually, maybe slightly bigger. Second fish in a row from that run, about the same size. It's not bad at all. Another one about the same size. Cool. I think this is as far down as I'm going to come today. It's about 4:30. Um, probably start running out of light pretty soon, so. Yeah, tomorrow I'll head up river. There's some really nice stretches up river. And uh, then I'll most likely stay uh, tomorrow night as well. And then on the last day, I'll come back down river and walk quite a bit further back down and try to fish some spots I know that are pretty good down there. So we'll head back up. hoping I'd find down here. So I had to get through the small fish first but got a really nice two pound rainbow just in the gutter that I fished earlier but I didn't fish the back of it there and it's probably in there the whole time so super stoked with that. Really happy about that. Um, that's pretty much the kind of fish that I was hoping to find down here. And to do it on the first afternoon um, is a really, really good sign. So yeah, my favorite stretch of river is upriver. So hopefully tomorrow um, I can find a few more of those in some really nice looking sections of the river. Pack things up and get the fire going, I think. That's a really good start to the trip. Definitely respect all the guys that are into their bushcraft and starting fires with flint, but my thoughts on that is that I'm already handicapping myself with the fly fishing, so I'm not about to make the rest of my camping experience that much harder to. I think I meant to do this, but it's the second trip in a row where I've taken a local beer with me. This one's from a brewery in Katoomba, one of my favourite parallels. And it's going down pretty sweet tonight.
feeling pretty good about this meal. A couple of people have asked why I do these trips solo, and the truth is that most of the time I am doing it with someone else. Um, I just think it's good to get out into these kind of wild places by yourself every now and again. It's kind of the ultimate test of you know, finding out if you're comfortable um, in your own company. And it's just a great way to reset and rejuvenate before you know, going back to work and getting on with life. So yeah, really grateful to be out here now and the trip's been off to a really good start. So yeah, hopefully we have some uh, success going upriver tomorrow and um, yeah, we'll pick it up tomorrow morning. think that in the month since that first video I would have bought my own camping chair by now instead of borrowing dad's but you'd be wrong now the irony was also pointed out to me that I bought an ultralight backpack for hiking and yet I'm still bringing in Yeti mugs with me yeah well shut up Alright, so it's a similar program today as to yesterday afternoon. Um, Upriver is going to be even deeper and faster water than yesterday, so the idea is to get the flies as deep as quickly as possible. Um, so I'm probably going to have to add a bunch of split shots to make that happen today. So we're not going for uh, pretty casting today, it's going to be whatever gets the job done. I think the shape down here is just a stick, but you've always got to cast over it just to be sure. Yeah, it's definitely a stick. Nope. Oh, that was a fish. <laughs> you bastard. Well, turns out the fishing's not as easy as I thought it would be today. There was one fish in here that gave me the old, you think it's a stick, but it's actually a fish trick. That got the best of me. Um, I don't know, they're just not really holding in the spots that I would expect them to be in, so might have to change the tactics up a little bit. a little bit better than the others today. There we go. Well, it took a while to find one like this, but glad to be on the board with a slightly larger fish today. Really nice fish, just out of that shallow water. Up he goes. Well, it's kind of slowing down again. 
still plenty of those little fingerlings and the odd sort of half pound rainbow but I haven't spotted any of the bigger ones again so there's one more pool kind of above here that I want to go fish it's a bit of a final boss pool so yeah I'll, I'll use that as my cutoff point this afternoon and fish that and then come back to camp and get the fire going again fish right here, right in front of me. Got it. Kidding me? Oh man, that fish just came right up to eat the freaking thing again. God damn. Well, I didn't manage to get one out of the uh, waterfall pool at the end here. I did get a couple in the run just at the bottom of it. Um, yeah, I guess they're just not holding up in this pool at the moment. Pretty happy with how it went today. I was hoping I'd find uh, more fish sort of similar size to that bigger one that I caught yesterday but it just didn't turn out that way. Um, the ones I saw kind of spooked. But yeah, I'll have a little fish tomorrow morning. Um, you know, maybe I could find something then but other than that I'm pretty happy with it. You know, plenty of fish, mostly small but I'm glad I came down. So through poor time management and the weather, it's now night time. Um, when I got back to camp, it started raining. So didn't have a whole lot of time to do everything around camp that I needed to do and couldn't really film it. I try not to rate the success of a trip on what fish I catch. It's hard to sometimes. Um, and it's easier when you've caught some fish. Got to be thankful that you're out here and um, you know, it's something I do because it's super calming and, and relaxing. Fuck. Start early tomorrow, get a little bit of a fish in, pack up camp and do the big hike out. Really looking forward to sleeping in my own bed tomorrow night and can already smell freshly ground coffee. You can only have so many of those instant coffees out here. This is not the same. Absolute slop for brekkie this morning.
Well, I just fished the uh, last pool that I wanted to on the way out. Uh, caught a little one in it and then got the mother of all tangled. So I think that's the universe telling me I need to pack things up and head home. Um, it's a super steep hike on the way out. So I think it'd be painful for both of us if I filmed that. So we'll probably wrap things up here. Um, just want to say thanks again if you've uh, taken the time to watch this. Uh, I don't know how long it'll be before I do the next one. I'm thinking once it starts to heat up, I might go do a bass trip. So that'll be a little bit different to these first two vlogs. Um, but yeah, I uh, might see you on the next one then. Okay, you got one shot of the walkout. This is really goddamn tiring, and I need to get to the pub before it shuts.